All righty. Welcome back, you guys, to the channel. So today, my great friends, Mako, this is their channel, did a really great reaction to a Beamer video. And in that video, they are talking about some guy went on Beamer's Live asking him car questions. So, let's get into that. Now, I'll play the clip for you to prove Beamer don't know his ass from a hole in the ground. The guy had a question about a 1995 Buick Roadmaster. Now, you think Beamer would know this type of stuff because he owns Roadmasters. So, the first thing was, the dude tells him it's OBD1. And Beamer's like, no, this dude's a fucking idiot. It's OBD2. Nuh-uh, Beamer. Boom, bitch. You're a fucking retard. See, you don't know your ass from a hole in the ground. OBD2 is 96 and up. OBD1, 95 and older. You fucking retard. See what I mean? How can anybody take you serious? You're a fucking idiot. Then you want to hate on somebody for, which, let's get this straight. The LT1 and those cars has something called an Opti Spark Ignition System in that year. The older ones still had a regular distributor in the back of the engine and everything else. The newer ones have something called an Opti Spark, which sits behind your water pump. It's a horrible design. They're junk. They're done. They're stupid. They're just, it's a shitty design from GN. So then Beaver attacks this dude for using, which everything he said could be true. From the plugs he uses to used wires. Now we're getting into that because then he goes on to a rant about me. Hey Beamer, don't be jealous, homie. Don't be mad because I actually build shit while you sit and play PlayStation and post the same fucking videos. Don't be mad because anybody that's a mechanic would know the difference between OBD1 and OBD2. Like I'm gipped up and I'm still out here working. B, what'd you do today? Sit on PlayStation, talk to, talk about how we don't know our ass falling around. I want the wind. The wind's gotta go by. Beamer, I get more done in one fucking day than you've got done in a month. Now, then he goes on to berate me and Mako, which his name's Jeffrey. And so if you ever go to Beamer's video and, and you hear him talk about Jeffrey or Austin, first of all, he, he talks, like, he just mentions Jeff and then he, then he goes on to berate me. <laughs> he calls me a punk bitch and everything. <laughs> Oh, the punk bitch that didn't show up to the Indy swap me and give me that ass whooping I deserved as a puppy. <laughs> You're funny. You're fucking funny. Oh, we all know who the punk bitch is and it ain't me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So, Beamer, see what I mean? You don't fact check yourself. You just... Get talking and you and you're so fucking lonely. You're on places live talking to these guys. And you just spout off shit. That's why you always spout off shit, because you're lonely. You just want you just want to be heard. You're so fucking lonely. Didn't know the difference. You've been doing this for 40 years and you didn't know the difference between OBD1 and OBD2. Good shit. You can't make this up. And then Poor Man's Feed Shop. Yeah, that's my channel. And yeah, Beamer, I use used plug wire. I got a bag of them. I buy new. Hey, Beamer, when was the last time you had a engine rebuilt? 40 over, you know. And actually built an engine. Huh, that's funny. I got a big block in there that I just built and a small block. Well, not a small block. A Pontiac 400 in there. See, I almost pulled a Beamer there. I almost had a small block a big block. Unlike you, Beamer, on the main channel, I don't just keep posting random shit about these cars. I That's why it takes me a lot up there, because I actually care. I want to give the best quality content to my subscribers. You just walk around this car right here. You go. I love the car. I love the car. I love the car. I love the car. 
Mmm, tastes just like Mama said. Hence, why your views are going down and all of our views are going up. Hence, while, while you've lost friends in this and nobody else has. That being said, I'm gonna get off here. Go check out Mako and Lipstick did an amazing Capital One commercial for Barry. Go check that out. He also did an Amber Alert for Barry because, you know, he's a pedophile. So go check that out. I'm going to go put a tank in a 240SX with my gimp ass and uh yeah so as always barry fuck you don't do no real content because you're a bitch <laughs> just keep reposting the same videos wondering why your subscribers are going down and down and down <laughs> fuck you cunt <laughs> stay tuned because we'll be with nat here and then this thing's gonna get pulled around front we're gonna slide the big block in this so go check out Poor man's speed shop for all the used quality spark plug wires and spark plugs you can get. Also, if you want to see a real father and son build real cars, go check us out. Yes, we are broke. We use four parts. As Barry said, we use old spark plugs. Hell, I clean them up on a grinder. Hang on. Barry, and get it right. I take spark plugs out of an engine, they're black. I take a go more to a grinder, grind them. Look at them, grind them. Take a file, file them. So y'all want to see us use use spark plugs, zip ties, and fucking pop rivets. Subscribe to Beamer and Sun's Time and all poor man's speed shop, all the extras. Because here, we don't weld, we just use JB weld. <laughs> see you guys later tonight. Oh, doesn't feel bitch, you just got roasted. Pickle says, hey man, how's it going? On the live broadcast. It's going, it's going, I know I see it. I don't know who it is, but. We'll see who he is. Hey, see. We shall see. He's got a card question for us, Mark. I gotta see who it is. Pickler and Joyer. That sounds like a bogus. January 29th of 2020. What were the signs? What would the signs of crack vacuum lanes be? Rough, idle, or misfire? Hey, Spindle, like my rims? Yeah. Dude, I've never been in this world. You bought it and never been in it. Yup. Yeah. That's why you didn't know you had it. It's not going to be a misfire. You're going to have a vacuum leak, so it's going to uh, probably a uh, high. I don't to switch accounts. Not gonna hide it right that's for sure. Yep, I'm about to. I'm just having fun real quick on this thing. Breath idle, but not necessarily. I think you got it. Back in week, you're usually idle time. If I remember right. That old chops getting old on there. Yep. 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 There's a way to check the vacuum lines. If it's a carbureted car, I don't know. You don't know what kind of engine you're working on. I mean, you're working on a. Carbureted vehicle, a fuel injected vehicle, a, a, you know, a diesel vehicle. I don't, you know, propane. I mean, gear making you know, model. Give us something to work on. You know, are we talking hypothetical? I mean, you know, are we talking a real vehicle that you have? What, you know, what you're making model you could be working on, buddy.
All right, I'll switch some accounts, guys. I'll be back. Okay. Ninety-five Roadmaster with an LT three fifty. Yeah, I know this would be a. I know what it is. LT one. That's the three fifty. That's the detuned Corvette engine. We we know what it is. Hmm. If you got an engine that's missing and running rough, I'd probably put a tune-up on it. Hey, Barry, is that why all your shit smokes and doesn't run right and all that shit because you're all up on tune-ups and shit and that you do tune-ups all the time? And Because all your cars either smoke real bad, fucking don't run worth a fuck. Your timing's way off. They run like shit. So I'm just wondering. I'm asking for a friend. Uh, 96. He said he did plugs and wires last year. Yeah. Hmm. He said he did plugs and wires last year. Yeah, you might have a... Could it be the distributor cap, Mark? Well, you could have a bad cap, but... I'd say probably you need to run your wires, see if the wires ain't got like a... You know, spot where they wore and, you know, misfire and jump and fire through the plug wires. Need to go back over no check engine. He said no check engine light. Yeah. Go back over and check your tune up. You know what kind of spark plugs did you use? Did you use some quality wires? You can get some. They got these plug wires now that are only good for. Like are they all the same? the same? Yeah, I mean, you know, what kind of plugs did you get? Did you get some platinum plugs? Or did you buy some cheapy ones? You know, you need to go back over and check your car, you know. Pull out a couple spark plugs, see what they look like. Look at the condition of them. Are they brown? Are they white? Are they black? If they're brown, then they're burning right. If they're black, then they're, they're loading up. If it's white, then, uh, yeah, <laughs> you got problems. You need to take the spark plugs out one at a time and see what they're doing. Yeah, and also make sure they're gap, uh, all the same. A vehicle like that, I, I believe he could use an OBT2 scanner if he's got a good snap on scanner and run a use Delco plug wires and Delco double platinum plugs. And he's washed off. He got them yeah. uh, use plugs. Use Delco plug wires. <laughs> hey, he's fucking full of shit. <laughs> And it's not OBD-1. Oh, this guy's full of shit. It's OBD-2. Hey, this guy's full of shit. I thought so. I thought so. All right, Pecker. You go pick on this somewhere else. Yeah, there you go, Pecker. OBD-1. Uh, he's on a... This guy don't know what he's talking about, Dad. The right, vehicle that right, year so is OBD2, first of all. Uh -huh. And anybody use used plug wires and used double Delco platinum plug, he's full of shit, you know? You don't use used plug wires, you don't use used plugs, you know? And it's OBD2, not OBD, this guy's full of shit. It's most likely Jeffrey or probably that one punk ass little bitch ass fucking Austin. He's the only one dumb enough to say that shit. Use used parts. They're poor. They ain't got no money. They can't afford to buy spark plugs. Yeah, they gotta use used shit, you know, yeah, I believe it, you know. Garbage, you know, these people are just bitches. Open up the playpen. <laughs> we took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah. Winnie. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lob or his apartment, you know what I mean? Them guys are nasty, you know that, right? And oh, black yeah. people don't take a bath. Oh my god. They got these they get these what they call ring worms in their head. Oh my god. And the and talk about lice. Oh my God.
And the women are just a baby. Oh, God, no. I don't think I want to. Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, I had one of them.